we are going to learn about C instructions. Uh, today, uh, in this session, we are covering uh, what are the types of instructions. We are covering uh, how to operate with arithmetic instructions. Uh, we will be learning about associativity of the operators. Uh, some important points that we should keep in mind while uh, working with uh, instructions. We'll be doing some uh, practice exercise and I'll be giving some questions that you can try it out on yourself so that you can get more comfortable with the instructions that we use in C. So let's begin with types of instructions. Uh, in C we have uh, basically three types of instructions. Uh, type of declaration instruction, uh, the arithmetic instructions and control instructions. So uh, declaration instructions are nothing but uh, which is used while we are doing the variable declaration. Arithmetic instructions are nothing but uh, uh, the instructions that we use to do uh, while doing the arithmetic calculations and control instructions are instru instructions that we used while doing some logical operations where we need to compare two things and take action based on uh, whether the output is true or false uh, so we'll be covering this in uh, next session so let's begin with uh, type declaration instructions the type declaration instructions is used to declare the type of variable uh, uh, for example uh, here uh, we are declaring an integer variable so int a equal to 1 b equal to 2 uh, type declaration without initialization so type declaration here we are not initializing the variable and maybe later point of time in our program we can initialize the variables at one go like this so in this case uh, all the variables a b c will take value equal to 10 uh, uh, type declarations with invalid initialization so in this case it, this is treated as an invalid initialization so because here uh, the why it is an invalid initialization because uh, we have declared a, a as an int but b and c is not declared so this uh, compiler doesn't know what are the type of b and c uh, so it will not do initialization and it will give you error so before doing an initialization we should always do the declaration so this is a correct way where we are declaring the instruction for uh, declaring the variables first and initializing it uh, after declaration so uh, order of declaration of variable uh, order does not matter where uh, we are declaring like this if a equal to 1.5 and b equal to a plus 0.5 so in this case order does not matter so in any case the value will fall in place uh, so in this case the order matters where we say b equal to a plus 0.5 and a equal to 1.5 now why the order matters because uh, the initialization always happens from left to right so here uh, if we declare uh, first a will be declared like a will be initialized like a equal to 1.5 and then b will be initialized where uh, we say uh, b equal to a plus 0.5 where a is already done so mm, this will be a correct one in this case we are using uh, a before it is initialized so this is not a correct way so you should take care of uh, these things while doing the initialization arithmetic instructions 
सो अर्थमेटिक इंस्ट्रक्शन कंसिस्ट ऑफ वेरिएबल नेम एट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ इक्वल टू एंड वेरिएबल एंड कॉन्स्टेंट एट राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द इक्वल टू विच आर कनेक्टेड बाई अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स लाइक प्लस माइनस मल्टीप्लीकेशन डिविजन सो ऑलवेज वी शुड हैव द वेरिएबल पार्ट ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड एंड कॉन्स्टेंट पार्ट ऑन द राइट साइड if this is not there like if we put constant on left side and non constant on the right side then we'll get an error uh, maybe an l value initialization error uh, so just keep in mind while using uh, these arithmetic operations that uh, always put variables and left hand side of equal to example a equal to b plus 10 where b and 10 are operands plus is operator and equal to is an assignment operator so here a is a variable which is not uh, which can be changed and we can declare it like this uh, before uh, doing this kind of initialization uh, b should be initialized first otherwise this will not give you a correct result so uh, what are the types of arithmetic instructions uh, there are three types one is integer mode arithmetic instruction one is real mode arithmetic instruction one is mixed mode arithmetic instructions so let's see, see each category so integer mode arithmetic uh, statements uh, in this all the operands uh, operands are integer value or integer constants for example int i equal to i j uh, l m i equal to i plus 1 m equal to i into j plus 1 so whatever we are uh, doing whatever operation we are doing we are performing operations on integers so uh, this is called arithmetic mode of operation so whatever operations that we do that falls under uh, integer category real mode arithmetic operations in this all the statements or all the operands are either real uh, constant or real variable that means uh, 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 for example uh, we declare uh, the variables as a float and we'll be doing the floating point operations so when we do these type of calculations this is this falls into real mode arithmetic calculation mixed mode uh, arithmetic uh, uh, statements where we use both integer and float uh, in this case for example uh, we have uh, a b c and num declared as integer and we have calculating average as a plus b plus c plus num by 4 so in this case we are doing uh, both integer and uh, floating point uh, uh, calculations uh, a plus b plus c plus num will give one integer and once we divide this number by 4 it will give some floating point value so we have to declare average as a floating num float and a b c num as an integer so associativity of the operator associativity of operator means how in one instruction if we have multiple operators then how uh, the resolution of operators will happen is from which direction so for example unary operators like plus plus minus minus not or size of operator the associativity is from right to left so the first right uh, rightmost uh, instruction will be calculated then uh, it goes towards left until all are calculated Uh, for arithmetic uh, operators, uh, for example, these operators, the associativity is left to right. For relational operators, the associativity is left to right. Equality operators, the associativity is left to right. Logical operators, the associativity is left to right. And assignment operators, the associativity is left to right. so let's see some examples so in this we have a mixed 
uh, operations where uh, in this statement uh, we are having multiplication and division so how this will be solved first b and c will be calculated then the result of b into c will be divided by d and uh, it is uh, assigned to a uh, for this uh, uh, for the assignment operator first c will be assigned to 3 then b will be assigned to 3 and then a okay for this kind of operators uh, where uh, we have multiplication division and addition uh, if you need first follow the board mass rule like uh, the operator pre precedence of multiplication and division is greater than plus so either of multiplication division will happen first and then the addition addition operation will happen so uh, the operation can take in this manner first d by e will be calculated then b into c will be calculated and then the result of this and this will be added and assigned to a so few points to remember the execution of arithmetic statement takes place firstly the right hand side is evaluated using the constant and the numerical values are stored in the variable names this value is assigned to a variable on the left hand side so if you have a arithmetic uh, statement which is very complex first the right hand side of the value is calculated and it is assigned to one some variable which is known to the compiler and it once the calculation is completed the, the variable which is on the left hand side will get assigned to the result automatically so arithmetic operations can be performed on integer floats and characters uh, valid statements are b equal to c into d into b into like this for example so these are the valid statements uh, invalid statements like a equal to c dot b dot like this is not allowed this is also not allowed this is also not allowed uh, so let's do some practice so in this session we will do only uh, calculations which these are the mathematic calculations so uh, we'll be doing some practice uh, just to make sure that you understand how the um, uh, arithmetic operation takes place in C and uh, if you are comfortable with solving the mathematic equations then this is this will be very easy because the solution uh, that will be presented here is same as we do in normal mathematics um, so for example we are given this equation g equal to big by 2 plus big into 4 plus uh, slash big minus big plus uh, abc by 3 so uh, how this will be calculated first big by 2 will be calculated then uh, big into 4 will be calculated and this result will be divided by big and then abc by 3 will be calculated then this result will will be added to this result and then this complete result will be subtracted from this and the final result will be added with this so this is how uh, it happens this is very straightforward uh, i would like you to solve it by yourself uh, these are the uh, other examples that you can try it out uh, these are very easy and you can just follow the mathematical rules to solve these equations uh, you will be getting more and more understanding of this also uh, you can try it out uh, uh, converting these into the C statements so this is a mathematical equation just uh, write it in a program 
and try it out with the result so what you can do is you just uh, solve the problem by yourself by pen and paper and then write the program to uh, see the result and match the result where whether both the results are correct or not again this is uh, not, not a big thing only a uh, few mathematical calculations I'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video please like the video and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment us in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos do look out for other related videos in our playlist for more information visit our website now keep learning with intellipat